lots of love and tributes are pouring in for Jeff Beck today. He was renowned as a pioneering guitarist who pushed the boundaries of the instrument to places unknown to most of his contemporaries. Many remembering Beck as someone who could more than hold his own with fellow big wigs such as Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton. Yet, unlike them, Beck was referred to as a reluctant celebrity, unwilling to pursue the superstardom that his musical gifts could have brought him. Manisa Danabalan joins us live with more. Manisa, the icon, was described as the guitar player's guitar player. That's right, Kelly. In a statement, the 78-year-old's representative said Jeff Beck died Tuesday after suddenly contracting bacterial meningitis. Fans and artists from generations are feeling the loss. He's a guitar player who influenced generations of shredders throughout his career. He was known for his improvising love for harmonics and the whammy bar on his preferred guitar, the Fender Stratocaster. Almost a decade ago in an interview on Sky Arts, Jeff Beck said the radio was on all the time when he was asked how he got into guitar. There was this thing that caught my ear, it was, it was how high the moon, I don't know what it was, but my ears just locked onto this amazing speedy sound. I, I'd never heard the guitar sound like. I think what people associate with Jeff Beck is just like really interesting techniques and um, trying to make the electric guitar often sort of sound not like an electric guitar. So he's a, he's a, he's a blues guitar player fundamentally. He doesn't play with a pick. You know, so he has a very unusual way of playing. He plays, you know, primarily with his thumb. Even though he was in a few bands before joining the Yardbirds in 1965, that's when he first came to prominence, replacing another guitar legend, Eric Clapton. With the Yardbirds, Beck helped create memorable songs like Heart Full of Soul. But his journey with the group eventually came to an end. Waking up the next morning and you're not a Yardbird anymore. You know, you're just nobody. And I thought, I don't know if there's any scraps left for me, you know, the business. And that was kind of like the lowest point in my life, I suppose. But Beck's work didn't stop there. He went out on his own, starting a solo career that incorporated hard rock, jazz, funky blues, and even Oprah. His first hit single in 1967 is one many won't forget. Alexander Carpenter, a professor of music, says Beck was an important figure in the history of rock music, who was in the shadows of other guitar players who weren't as good. Jeff Beck is a way better guitar player than, than both Eric Clapton and, and uh, Jimmy Page. The other issue with Jeff Beck, of course, is that he didn't really sing. So he recorded a ton of music and he played with a lot of other people. Um, but he wasn't an Eric Clapton type of figure who was like a, a very gifted and flashy guitar player who also sang. Uh, and he wasn't Jimmy Page. For his work, Beck won eight Grammy Awards, and he came in fifth on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. He was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, once with the Yardbirds in 1992, and again solo in 2009 by Jimmy Page. He leaves us, us mere mortals, believe me, you know, just wondering and, and, and having so much respect for him. Because Jeff's whole guitar style has, um, it's just totally unorthodox to the way that anyone was taught and he's and he's just really developed a whole style that um, of the of, of expanding the electric guitar Beck worked with many artists and recently finished a tour with Johnny Depp after the pair released an album together last summer artists and fans took to Twitter reminiscing on his legacy and expressing their love. Jimmy Page wrote, The six-stringed warrior is no longer here for us to admire the spell he could weave around our mortal emotions. Jeff could channel music from the ethereal. Rod Stewart also chiming in on the law, saying he was one of the few guitarists that when playing live would actually listen to me sing and respond. Jeff, you are the greatest, my man. Thank you for everything. Carpenter says that not only did Beck play with various incarnations of the Jeff Beck group, he virtually played with everyone in the 70s and 80s, and the 78-year-old still stayed active as a guitar player before his death.